If you don't know anything about the uh, Windows Media Player version 12, which by the way comes with Windows 7, then I recommend that you watch my Windows Media Player training video because there I cover the basics and here I want to expand upon it or more to the point I want to show you how to create a music playlist. If you're like me you probably have hundreds or thousands of music files on your computer and there may be times where you just want to listen to a specific type of music or a category of just let's say easygoing music or maybe another day energetic music or holiday music you can go ahead and basically categorize all your music files into what are called playlists in Windows Media Player. So that way, if you're feeling kind of easygoing and you've categorized them all into the easygoing playlist, then just go ahead and click the play and it just stays within that playlist, which is really nice. And it doesn't play all the music on your computer and you don't have to keep rifling through those specific songs that you're in the mood for because you created your playlist, whatever playlist that may be. So to get started, first of all, let me open up my exercises folder because I have, well, I have five WMA files or Windows Media Audio files here. I'm going to go ahead and select them for you by holding down the control key so you can see that in this exercise I'm going to show you, or this training video, I've got a total of five music files. Now, I don't need hundreds or thousands because I think you'll get the point here with just five music files. So I'm going to go ahead and close out and down here on the taskbar, open up Windows Media Player. If it's not here, then you can click on the Start button, type in the search field, Windows Media Player, and then you can go ahead and select it within the menu. But it's right here, so click on it to open it up. Now, if it doesn't take you to the library, which you can see in the address bar here, Library, I'm in the playlist, then you want to switch views. In other words, let me come down here and click on this to switch views. If you're in this view, well, there's your go-to library, and you can see the button here is the same in the upper right-hand corner. Click on it. it, takes us to the library. And then in the library, over in the left pane, you've got your playlist, you have your videos, pictures, and recorded TV. So to create my first playlist, I just need to go ahead and pull all the songs into my Windows Media Player here, and then I can organize them accordingly. But what might be the easiest is to not pull them all in at once, although you can, and then just organize them from there. But just pull in the songs that you want to create your first playlist or base your first playlist off of. So come up here and you can do it one of two ways. If you have the menu bar, then just click on File and go down to Open. So you can open and search your computer or here in the address bar or address bar area, right click, you get the same menu, File, and you can go to Open. Of course, you can check this, Show Menu Bar, which shows the menu bar. You can do it either way. File to Open. Takes me right to my Exercises folder. If it doesn't for you, then over here in the Navigation pane, click on the Desktop. Find your folder, select it, click open, and well, there's your music. So in my first playlist, let's say it's going to be easy going, so I'll select the first music file, and if I got additional music files, I can go ahead and hold down the control key and click on other files, and when I selected all my files, hit open, and it pulls in over to the right hand side my two files. Now, automatically the Windows Media Player is playing the first song here. I turned off the speakers, but you can come down here and click pause or click stop so it doesn't play. So you can focus on the task at hand. Now over here in the right hand pane, you've got a list of all the files that you've imported and creating a playlist from these files that you just imported or opened up and brought into the Windows Media Player, it's as simple as coming up here and clicking on the save list. Down below it says, here's the default name, what name do you want to give it? Just start typing. And then hit enter when you're done and it saved your first playlist. There it is, easy going, eh? And then, of course, I got it selected. If I go off onto music or some other place, come back, there's my playlist. Let's go ahead and create another playlist. Come up here and right click, go File to open. Select the other songs here. One, hold down the Control key. Two, three, click open. And again, you can click Save and type in. It's my energetic music and hit Enter. So now I have two playlists here. I got my energetic and my easygoing. And if I want to be able to cross playlist. In other words, let's say, yeah, I like the Stay Beautiful song in my Energetic playlist, but I also want it in my Easy Going. When in doubt, right click and you get a bunch of options, the least of which is you can add it to one of the two playlists, or here's the other option, click Additional Playlist. You can create another playlist. Click Create, type in Fun, go ahead and hit Enter, and then click OK. So if I go to Easy Going, double click on that, you can see the two songs in there, or I can come over here and click on Energy. Come up here, click on Fun, Stay Beautiful. Of course, Energy says I'm currently playing this, so if I want to go ahead and click Stop, 
that I can go to another playlist and within that playlist just go ahead and double click on one of the songs it moves the playlist over to the right hand side and this is the easy going playlist and it's going to play everything within that list okay of course as you go on you'll probably find additional ways to mix and match your playlist like if I come up here to fun and stay beautiful and I click and drag Island in the Sun over here it says do you want to add to the list here let go yeah and then if I want to remove it go ahead and right click on it and say remove from list and it's gone from the playlist now sometimes when you make a lot of changes you'll need to save your playlist so you can come up here and right click go to file and then you can say save now playing list if not it looks like it's already saved it so that's fine and then finally if you want to be able to delete your playlist just come over here and right click on one of them or actually both of them are selected let me click off in a blank area click on one right click on it and go down to delete now you want to be careful it says you're about to delete the playlist but do you just want to delete the songs from the library or do you want to delete your songs not only from the library but your computer I don't want to do that so be very careful that you don't select the second option in your haste just leave the default there click okie dokie and now we're just down to two playlists but I should still have my songs in my folder there in fact let me go ahead and right click and delete all of them making sure it's just from the library only right click delete library only close out in my exercises folder I still should have my five songs and I do Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.